Hello everyone, welcome back to Cross Slash Game. EB here with another video, and uh, today I feel nostalgic. And um, today I don't know why I just caught a glimpse of a um, key art uh, on my phone <coughs> of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, which is due to come out in just over a month, which is incredible. Um, what a great time to be a Final Fantasy fan, right? You just had Final Fantasy 16, you had Crisis Core Remake, and now we're on to um, Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth, so part two of a trilogy. And it's, um, I think, for someone like me and the age I am at, I'm at and, and how much I love the genre, the Final Fantasy 7 specifically, because uh, it kind of, yeah, I think I've, met, I've, I've obviously mentioned before in my other videos, it's something that um, is connected to me in a deep level. Um, if anything, some of my, I don't know why, it's kind of weird, right? But some of the greatest memories I have is of playing Final Fantasy VII either by myself or with my friends or family. Um, it's a game that is still talked about in this household today. Um, still trying really hard to get my wife to play it for the first time. It's really difficult, so she's really not interested. But she plays Super Mario, so she may as well try it at some point. She promised she would, so we'll see. Uh, but ultimately, I, I, I saw this key art image of Kate Sif. That key art was just insanely good. It was, it just took me right back. It just did something inside, like just my, my heart skipped a beat. Um, and it's the one of Kate Sif jumping in front of uh, the gold saucer. And um, it's really strange because that just took me straight back to, to those, to being a kid. Um, so I just did a little compilation of <coughs> Final Fantasy art um, that I found online and I've just uh, kind of put it rotating as my desktop just while I talk a little bit uh, around this game because um, I've mentioned it to a couple of my friends uh, that, you know, I play, avidly play video games. Obviously I don't have the time to, or to invest as much as I'd like into playing all the games that are out there to play. Uh, so I'm very strategic around the games I play. But over the years, um, Final Fantasy has just always been the constant. Um, it's kind of the original, I mean, the original game. It's still kind of the measure of um, fun and intrigue and storytelling. It's kind of like the bar of what I expect video games to kind of do for me. Uh, when I play them, the, it, it, they have to feel in that sort sort of way or along the lines of how Final Fantasy VII made me feel at the time. And I know it's impossible. It's it's like a pipe dream. Ch chasing nostalgia is like a pipe dream. Um, you feel it every now and again when you see like t like today I saw that piece of key art, and and you see it, you feel it like that, and it just all these feelings just come flushing back like you just went time traveling all the way back to your twelve year old self and uh, you just find yourself, you know, revisiting those memories very clearly in your head and it just brings like this smile to your face. Um, so it just kind of, my hype levels for Rebirth just just shot up uh, because I've kind of put it outside of my mind. I, I try, every time I see anything on my phone or online, I just scroll right through. I don't want to see any of it. Um, I don't want it to I don't mind talking about it, but I don't want anyone to that's watched all the trailers or knows any tidbits of information about the game to 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 spoil it for me. In that sense, it's kind of been really uh, like easy to get through this this waiting period. Um, I say this because it's it's kind of like I'm just concentrating on anything else and any other games at the moment to to get me through this period because I'm so can't wait to see what they've cooked up in there like. Uh, I've done a, a theory video around what I want to see in, in, in Rebirth, but it's it's so bland, really, by comparison. And, I, and I, by, by comparison, probably what's going to happen. Um, but I'm just very intrigued by what they wrote for this game, how they re-envisioned uh, the original. It, it's no longer it's no longer considered a, a remake or, or anything like that. It's, it's literally a completely different story. Uh, we know that much. Uh, but... For me, the beauty of it was seeing that Kate Sif um, picture, and I'll I'll bring it up. This 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 picture right here invoked so like just the colours and the fur and 
Kate Sith with his little megaphone and the fact that it's Gold Saucer because it's such a big piece of Final Fantasy VII. Um, it just invoked joy. It just invokes joy. I don't know what it is. There's just something about it. Like, I, oh, I wish Square would invest in making a theme park off the back of the Gold Saucer because it would do, it would do so well. Um, it, it would it would challenge a Disneyland. It would challenge everything. It's just just put all those attractions in there. Uh, give us give us the, the all the squares that we can go and visit, and and I'm sure it would be amazing. Uh, I would definitely go and visit that. Um, but this picture just did it for me. It just made me feel like a kid again, and um, I felt like come on, like I can't, I can't. I just felt like I can't wait for this game to come out. I just wanted to share that little tidbit. That, that little bit of a, of uh, of how I felt because it just goes to show how important this game is um, and I'm, I don't think I'm the only one I think there's it, it wasn't it wasn't voted the most anticipated game of 2024 for for no reason it, it, it does have an a special place in people's hearts especially some of the older generations some within the 30s and 40s old category like we we lived this game back in the day. We played it and replayed it. We found all the secrets. And even then, still today, it still surprises me. It's still a game that, that doesn't doesn't stop surprising me. And and the, the original um, funny story, it, uh, got a uh, family friend um, who's 15 years old, uh, turned just recently, a couple of days ago. And I was just scratching my head about what to give him for his birthday, and I went and got the Switch version of Final Fantasy VII and VIII in one in one package. And it was funny because I had mixed feelings. I didn't know what he was going to do, how he's going to perceive. Is he going to bother playing it? You know, it doesn't look flashy, uh, the original now by comparison. And he's 15. Everything for him is like just beautiful. He's not really got to experience those. Uh, blocky characters or the sprites or anything like that so when considering that this this kid is you know a lot younger than I am I didn't know what to expect but then he texts me and I get uh, a couple of days later and he starts he says literally uh, I know a game is good when I'm at school and all, all I can think about is coming home to play Final Fantasy 7 or when I wake up in the morning, I think I can't wait to play Final Fantasy VII. And he's only, he's only when he texts me, he got to come calm village. So that in itself filled me with so much pride because and joy because someone even it, it, not all hope is lost, right? Someone of that age could enjoy a 1997 classic and really want to keep going and keep playing it and finding out more so so it goes to show is a testament to that game it's it's almost timeless people still enjoy that game even when they play it for the first time they really love it and and i think it's it's kind of like the best example of less is more by the at, at that time in 1997 a 40 hour game was a very long game now a 40 hour game is is a very fast game that you know people people find find that RPGs now have to be at least a hundred hours. Um, so so a forty hour game nowadays is a, is a pretty quick game to get through. And Final Fantasy VII OG isn't really that difficult. So I can imagine that those little victories, every battle, the boss battles, the music, the the, the little uh, the little bits of story that are happening towards that three hour section of Midgar that you play when you when you play the game it kind of I think it got to him and he and he was really enjoying it so uh, I felt really proud I felt like a proud dad who showed his 50 year old son uh, something that he really loves and is really happy that he, he got into it um, so there's, there's a little story for you guys um, something just a little bit of ray of hope that um, some of these young people some of these young up-and-coming people coming out uh, still appreciate art uh, for what it really is and and they can they can see quality when it's right in front of them so it's up to us older folk to kind of always pass it down and it's not just, not, not just video games it's music and movies because unfortunately in all mediums oh god it's a bit dire out there and Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth is literally out very very soon so guys thanks a lot for listening to me to my rambles 
Um, I hope my story gave you guys a little bit of uh, hope for the future, and uh, and ultimately I hope you guys are as hyped as I am for Final Fantasy VII because I cannot wait. Uh, in any case, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below, uh, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Please like, share, and subscribe. That'd be amazing. Uh, and I'll see you in the next video. Yeah, take care, guys. Ciao.